right, Rick, we can start with your thoughts on the game and then go to questions. Okay. Uh, tonight's uh, defensive player of the game is uh, Wes Wundu. Uh, you can catch that on social media, courtesy of uh, Jonathan Lynn. And uh, he was very deserving. You know, he, uh, he did a great job just holding his ground on DeRozan. He chased Mills around, um, and he made some plays off the ball and some loose ball plays, which were really important. So uh, very happy for him. Um, I thought we played very well offensively just about the whole night. Uh, you know, these games get tight down the stretch. Uh, our guys showed great poise in the last four minutes, uh, continuing to execute, get the ball in the basket, you know, KP's clutch free throws and uh, KP and uh, Awundu's clutch free throws were obviously very huge. And uh, that's a big division game for us. Brad? Yeah, Rick, obviously there were some close moments uh, down the last few minutes, but I'm wondering if you're if you see a different sort of body language or feeling among your team late in games this year because the role, the results have been pretty good. Yeah, look, we've gotten a year older, a year wiser. Um, we spent more time working on um, crunch time situations, uh, talking about it, understanding that, that it's a big part of you know, where we want to go as a team, we need to execute and, and keep our poise. But the biggest thing was we really just kept our, kept our cool. And, uh, you know, uh, Luca kept guys together in the huddles, um, you know, and we, we found a way to, to, to execute, get, the, get, get enough stops to get it done. And, uh, and the big free throws at the end were huge. Kevin? Hey, good evening, Coach. That 337 stretch there with, with that, without a bucket, they got it down to one. Walk us through that five-point stretch where Luca hits the 11-foot shot there and then hits Brunson uh, for the three-pointer there in that sequence to push the lead back out. Yeah, you know, they were creating some confusion with switching and stuff like that. We finally went to a, a, a spaced-out alignment, um, let Luca drive his, you know, line his guy up, get by him because we had all shooters out there. And uh, Brunson hit a big shot, and then the, and then the little bank shot that Luca hit obviously was a huge one as well. So, uh, but but again, the thing I loved tonight was positive body language throughout the game. Um, NBA games aren't perfect. There there are thousands of events that go on in NBA games. There are officials calls that you know you, you don't agree with. There are, are physical plays. There are you know missed shots and and, and turnovers and and other adversities and um, guys did a real good job of just sticking together and, and sticking to it. Eddie? Rick, the play where Luca found Jalen in the corner there, uh, obviously Luca made the right basketball play and then Jalen makes the shot. What, what does that kind of play do for a team's uh, belief in each other, chemistry, trust factor, whatever you want to call it? Well, it's clear that, that Luca has great trust in his teammates. You know, the, the Denver game was another um, very close game. Uh, Milwaukee game was very close. In those situations, he made the right basketball play, got the ball to his teammates, and his teammates were, you know, stepping into shots with force and confidence. And, uh, you know, in those situations, you're not going to make every single shot, but it's a process thing. And, and the belief in each other and the trust that, that you have in each other on the floor is, is the glue that makes, you know, teams that are developing teams good and good teams, you know, contending teams. And, and so, you know, we got to keep fostering more of that. Um, but that was a, that was a play, you know, that's a keeper. Last one, Tim McMahon. Hey, Rick, uh, how do you feel about Porzingis's post-up game utilizing that at this point? And, and what are the situations where you would look or where you are looking to go to him on the block. Yeah, you know, Luca called those post-up plays um, in the flow of the game, felt that he needed a touch against a smaller guy. Um, KP made some very good decisions, got, got a bucket or two. Um, and so look, in the flow of the game, you know, when it's, uh, you know, when it's our leader out there making the call, um, you know, I'm good with it. Um, on a steady, regular basis, it's a tough play. It's, it's become a play that, generally is his has become an unproductive play in the league um but tonight i thought we got good mileage out of it all right thanks rick
good evening. Obviously, going eight of twelve with twenty-one points tonight, but I think one of the best sequences you had tonight. You chased down a block or chased down on a defensive end and transitioning back and got a layup on the other end. Talk about the mentality and the mindset of staying locked in on both ends. Obviously, continuing to do that with the regularity. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're just a lot of men down, so um, you know, every possession counts, and it's great just to have these times and these moments uh, just to keep on building and uh, try to hold down the fort until those guys get back. So I'm um, just uh, staying locked in, um, not hanging your head on a turnover, getting back on defense, every possession counts, and um, just trying to get the stop and, you know, good things will happen. Valencia? Hey, Tim, appreciate you taking the time. Coach talked about how, as a team, you guys were able to stay poised throughout the game. How much of keeping those open lines of, of uh, communication helps with that, keeping that composure? Uh, it, it's very key. And uh, just being able to uh, adapt uh, through the course of the game and make sure we're, we're locked in and cued in on the, on the calls that uh, uh, we are given uh, by the coaching staff. So. Uh, Everybody did a great job of um, staying poised, and staying precise, and uh, staying locked in down the stretch when they made their run. Brad? Yeah, Tim, uh, on that note, uh, do you sense a different uh, a, a belief uh, down the stretch uh, this year? And if so, what do you guys think you learned most from last season's? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean definitely last season's Last season definitely uh, plays a big role in uh, knowing how to finish games down the stretch now in the present and in the future. So, uh, yes, you are correct about uh, learning from your past, learning from your mistakes, and uh, making sure you just uh, build off of them and making sure that uh, those mistakes don't happen again through the course of, of the season. Um, so I think just everybody's, like you said, everybody's staying locked in, staying poised, and uh, – make sure we're focused towards the end of the game. Does anybody else have anything for Tim? Okay, thanks, Tim. Thank you. Uh, talk us down that stretch there. They cut it to one at 113-112. Luca hits the two-point shot, then hits you for the three-pointer. Talk about the trust that he continues to develop in you guys as teammates and having that composure to hit that shot late in there. Um, I mean, we've been teammates now for this our third year together. Um, we've been growing as friends every day. Um, and I feel like just like the off court chemistry, uh, definitely can translate on the court. And so, um, obviously we all trust him. You know, he does a lot for our team, makes a lot of plays for himself and for everybody else. And so just, I was ready just in case he wanted to dish it out to me and I was ready to knock it down. Eddie. Jalen, you uh, you obviously now have been back a game or two or three, and 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 Rick said before the game that some of the uh, reinforcements could be coming maybe uh, next week at some point. How do you feel like you guys have done just you know trying to hold the fort down while uh, being pretty severely shorthanded? Yeah, um, I think we've been doing a great job. Um, obviously, had a couple of letdowns. Uh, we had a had that three game losing streak or something like that. And so, um, yeah, we had, um, we had a tough time and then we're on the right track right now. We're, we're getting better. We're getting, we're moving up and, um, that's all we can worry about. We gotta worry about what's going forward. Dwayne? Jalen, all games are big, but how much bigger are these games when you plan against your division of opponents? Yeah, the big games, um, tiebreakers tie are really going to count in the Western conference. Um, Obviously, we have a, a very tough division and conference, so everything matters. And so um, we're just lucky enough to make a couple of key plays at the end of the game to get a win. Last one to Maria. Um, hi, Jalen. What did you most like from how your teammates were playing today? And what is something that you would like to continue working on throughout this season? Um, I like the resilience. Um, I like how the Spurs made a run at the end of the game and we easily could have folded and um, let them come back and take a win at home. Um, I think if this was the team last year, uh, that maybe would have happened, but I've, we're growing. Um, I see that's one way that we're growing and becoming better is by making key plays at the end of the game in order to win games. And um, I just like how we're, we're competing, we're staying together in tough times 
and um, we're trusting each other. And uh, we just got to keep getting better at that and not get satisfied. All right. Thanks, JB.